five things I love and hate about living in Toronto. Hi there. Hi there, I'm Nawar Naji, a real estate broker with Chestnut Park Real Estate in the city of Toronto. If this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, make sure you click on subscribe and that bell button to get notified of my videos. Let's start with the five things that I love about living in Toronto. First is diversity. You name the culture and we have it. Little India, Greek town, Korea town, Chinatown, Little Italy. It's all bad for your waistline. Second is sports. We pretty much have all the professional sports in this city. We have the world champions, Toronto Raptors. We have the Toronto Argos, which is the Canadian Football League. We have the Toronto Blue Jays. We have the heartbreaking Toronto Maple Leafs. We have lacrosse. NFL, if you're listening, can you please put a team in the city of Toronto? Third is culture. Looking for concerts? Check. Looking for different types of cuisines? Check. Looking for entertainment? Check. Looking for street festivals? Check. There's a lot of stuff to do in the city of Toronto. Fourth is the city of neighborhoods. We have so many different neighborhoods with their own unique character and feel, such as Leslieville, the beaches, or the beach. The, um, you have Corso Italia. You have you know, Hillcrest Village. You have Queen West, you have the distillery uh, district, you have the waterfront. There are so many different areas around the city uh, to explore, to live and enjoy. Fifth is healthy living. Whether you're a cyclist, a runner, a swimmer, a triathlete, a basketball player, a baseball player, whatever sports you're into or activity you're into, there are venues and places you can do these sports and stay active throughout the whole year, whether it's the summer, fall, winter, or spring. It's just a great place to, uh, to stay active 12 months out of the year. Here are five things, okay, really it's only four, that I do not like about living in Toronto. I'm not gonna use the word hate because that, that is a very strong word. First is real estate. It's just expensive to live here. Over the last few years, house prices, condo prices have skyrocketed in the city of Toronto. And it's, it's a bit of a double-edged sword because it's, it's a desirable place to live. We have had strong population growth, which created a lot of demand, but not enough supply of housing, which really pushed up house prices and condo prices over the last so many years to the point where it's, it's, it's very difficult to afford. And, and the reality is nowadays, for a million bucks, you can barely get into a house, whether it's a semi-detached or a detached, it still needs a lot of work but that is an entry level point in the city of Toronto. Second is traffic. Congestion is just one of those things you have to accept when living in the city of Toronto. Unfortunately, the roads are packed and it seems, or it feels like construction season never ends. This is where having a good audiobook or a podcast in your car helps you keep your sanity when stuck on the 401 or the DVP or the Gardner. Third is public transportation. We just don't have the world-class you know, public transportation system. It's, it's nothing like Europe and we're really behind. Toronto's putting a lot of money, uh, not just Toronto, but Toronto, the province, as well as the federal government, putting a lot of money into transit, building the Eglinton LRT, the Finch uh, LRT, but we're really behind. We, we, that's something we are lacking in, uh, we're trying to catch up in building very strong public transportation infrastructure to connect people across the city. Okay, the fourth is winter. We do live in Canada, it's cold. January and February are really bad. It's cold, it gets dark at 4.30, and this is where, jumping to the, um, the uh, fifth point of loving, uh, living in the city is, is being active. You, you gotta stay active, otherwise, those couple of months, it's really tough because of the cold weather. Uh, November and December it's nice, it's Christmas season, there's the festivities, there's a Christmas market in the distillery district, um, people are in a good mood, and then January and February come in and it's, it's a wake-up call um, for everyone where there's not much to, uh, to do outside and it's good to, uh, you know, again, stay active and, and be busy, but we do live in Canada. And to look at it from a positive perspective, Toronto is cold, but it's not as cold as Montreal or Ottawa. So again, it's a good place to live. I hope you've enjoyed this video. 
If you're thinking of moving to Toronto or considering Toronto as a place to live, feel free to reach out. I'd be more than happy to help you and share my experience as a City of Toronto resident. I, I do live, work and play in the City of Toronto and to help you with your real estate needs in the future. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy investing.